When you go from managing one Facebook Ads account to managing multiple, you will notice it's a lot more difficult to keep track of your data. Um, the common solution that people look for is combining data from multiple ads account into a single um, source of data, which is usually a dashboard. It could be a dashboard in Booker Studio, Power BI, or whatever technology you're comfortable with. This scenario is very common for marketing agencies who have multiple clients. Uh, it's also common for e-commerce brands who have presence in multiple countries. Uh, I've seen some of my clients having one uh, ad account for UK, for US, Canada, uh, and etc. There's really no limit to how many accounts you can have in your company. Uh, so in this video, I want to give two case studies like that. I want to explain the architecture for how data was consolidated. And uh, I just want to give you some good practices and some things to watch out for, because there are definitely some pitfalls in this process. Now, the first dashboard, which I'm sharing on my screen right now, was created for a lead generation marketing agency. They had clients uh, that run Google Ads and Meta Ads, and they also built a database themselves, which contained the lead information for every client. The task was to consolidate data from those three different sources. Uh, let's talk about the architecture and how it's done. We used Windsor.ai to extract data from Facebook and Google. Um, Windsor is pretty much the same tool as Supermetrics. Supermetrics is most well known in Luca Studio space. Uh, but, you know, Supermetrics um, wasn't chosen for this project for multiple reasons. First of all, um, Supermetrics are known for Luca Studio space. They're not really that well known for Power BI, which is what was used in this case. Second of all, um, Supermetrics can get quite expensive and uh, not only that, but their customer support can be um, a problem um, from what I've seen. So, Windsor comes at uh, a basic plan of $20 a month, which gives you three data sources, uh, which could be like Google Ads, Facebook Ads, and LinkedIn Ads, and up to 75 accounts across those three sources. 75 accounts is honestly enough for most uh, for most companies. Now, uh, to be fully transparent with you, uh, we are the premium Windsor solution partner. So we also uh, have some technical preference for this project, uh, but it's only because we know Windsor so well. So uh, now that you know about the architecture, I want to show you some step-by-step uh, processes for how you can build similar dashboards yourself. Uh, the first thing you could do is you could go to windsor.ai and sign up for a free trial. It gives you 30 days worth of data and uh, if you need uh, data for a longer period like the last year or three years then you would need to upgrade to the basic account which is $20 a month. Once you log in, you will see all the different data sources and I will choose Facebook, for example. Uh, now, uh, once this menu loads, I can log into my Facebook accounts here. So uh, I would log in with my actual Facebook accounts and all the accounts I have access to in my Facebook business manager would be available to select from this menu. Uh, the next thing you need to do is to actually select the accounts you want to extract data from and uh, of course you can also choose the attribution settings if uh, you find that important and click next. Uh, after you do this you will choose uh, the columns you want to extract and uh, you can choose to get your data into Luca Studio or Power BI which is what I used for my case studies. Uh, you will see that a link is automatically generated, which is uh, listing all the columns that you want to extract. And uh, if I was to add a new column, uh, then this link is automatically updated. Uh, so 
I can then copy this link and paste it into my Power BI, for example. So as you can see, um, for Google Ads, uh, we've got the same link. Uh, it's got the access token, and then uh, we are listing all the Google Ads accounts that we extracted into this dashboard. Uh, after we do that, we are listing all the columns that we are extracting. Um, account name, uh, ad group ID, etc, etc. And uh, yeah, this data is extracted into Power BI this way. Uh, this case study was done in January 2024, so we don't have the access to it anymore. The client retains the access, but uh, yeah, that, that's the reason you see this message here. Now, uh, the same thing is done for meta ads. Uh, again, you can see that we're extracting data from those following ad accounts and uh, we're extracting those following columns here. Uh, finally, we need we needed some breach tables. So one campaign filter it was supposed to filter all the campaigns uh, regardless of whether they are from uh, from Google or from Facebook. Uh, we also needed to join the uh, ad spend data with leads data, uh, or in other words, we had to join Facebook and Google ads with the leads database uh, to show it like this. And um, uh, yeah, like uh, we also gave the source uh, for Google or Meta. So that's the first case study. The second case study was created for a public company. Uh, they were operating for multiple uh, markets, uh, Benelux, German-speaking countries, UK, Finland, Denmark. And uh, every country had their own Google Ads, LinkedIn Ads and Facebook Ads accounts. The architecture was the same, we used Windsor for extracting data from all of them and if I show you what's under the hood, uh, you will see the same links. So um, what's also convenient is you can extract data from both LinkedIn and Facebook into a single table. So I'm just saying I don't want to extract data from Google Ads, but I want to extract data from everything else, which is Facebook and LinkedIn. And this was my paid social data. So uh, the same process was used for Google Ads and uh, essentially we end up with this. So we've got the filter by market. So we grouped accounts into the market that they were operating in. And uh, we are showing the data for cross network, for display and for search for Google Ads and we're also showing the totals. So you can choose the date uh, range here. Uh, so based on the selection, the numbers will change. Uh, you can see how much each country spends and uh, what sort of campaigns they spent their money on. Uh, you can also sort by sum of spend so you can see which were the most expensive campaigns. And uh, uh, yeah, that's that's basically how it was done. Now, if we go to the social media page, we can see how much was spent for paid social. We can see uh, the organic numbers as well, which in this case came from spreadsheets. And uh, the same way we can see the um, campaign which channel it was run on, uh, whether it was LinkedIn ads, Facebook ads, uh, or, uh, you know, it could be Amplify, which is a company makes a post on LinkedIn and all the employees can free post it. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's basically uh, the analysis which was created in this case. So I hope that you found this video useful and I really hope that it gives you some ideas of uh, what you can and cannot create for your company. And um, yeah, if you have any questions about 
uh, building those solutions where multiple ads accounts are combined together, then please leave a comment or, you know, text me directly. Thanks a lot.